In this video, I want to talk about making a left turn at an intersection where you have a regular intersection light and you're facing a green light, but there is a vehicle in front of you or across from you rather that is waiting to turn left as well. And it's making it hard for you to see what is happening in the lane next to them. So in this case, we have a bus on the other side and we've come into our waiting position with the student and we can see a string of cars passing by. Those are the, the through traffic and this bus is making it a little bit hard to see past maybe five meters past the intersection. So this is where we tell students, if you can't see, we don't go, right? We can't just gamble and just assume that it's clear. Now, sometimes students ask me then, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, I can't sit there forever. And we're not, right? When we get the yellow light, if it ends up that the bus turns and the light is still green, then it's going to make it easier for us to see what's going on. Um, but for as long as the bus is there and we can't see, then we don't want to risk and just go ahead and make the turn. The, on the other side of the equation is, well, maybe the bus can't turn until the light is yellow, at which point, as soon as we get the yellow, we're going to take our foot off the brake. Notice I didn't say I'm just going to make the turn, but I'll take my foot off the brake. And what happens is our car will start inching forward. And as we're starting to make the turn, we can then look and see whether it's clear to proceed. The bus will be doing the same thing at that time. So we'll be kind of inching towards each other and making the turn around the same time. And again, if you see at that point that someone's blatantly going through the light, then we'll yield the way to them, let them pass by and we tuck in behind them. So let's just see what happens at this particular intersection. So we're waiting here. It's really hard to see if there are any more cars coming after this, but now we can see, oh, the bus is turning. So it's making it easier for us to see that shortly after this vehicle, there are no more cars. So as they're passing by, we should start rolling forward and making that turn. Now, here my student kind of, they synchronized it pretty well, but there was a slight hesitation before they got going here, right? So if we go back just a little bit, we pretty much can see right after this car, it's clear. So as this car is starting to come through the intersection, we should have taken our foot off the brake and started inching forward. So we can kind of do this dance of tucking in behind this vehicle. Now, they went by and it took us another half a second before we got going and then the student decided to go a little bit quick there. So these are things you want to be out there practicing with your co-ed driver and you'll get better and better with synchronizing the turn. But the main thing here in this particular video is the fact that this bus was blocking our view. So because they were blocking our view and because the light was still green and because it was a regular intersection light, so that's a three circle light. And that's what we have here, right? This is not a left turn signal just because the light is here. If it was a left turn signal, there would be a sign beside it and it would likely be a green arrow, but that's not the case. It's just a regular intersection light we're dealing with. So we've come into the waiting position and what we say is if you don't know, you don't go. So we're sitting, staying committed to the intersection, back wheels in the middle of the crosswalk. We wait until there is a safe gap that we can take advantage of. And we can see at this point, okay, the bus is taking the turn and it's hard to still see after this truck, but now we can see it's clear. So we should start inching forward and completing our maneuver. And this is, I think, what causes students the most anxiety when they're learning to drive is how do I negotiate or how do I make these turns? And they're sometimes afraid of coming into the intersection because then they feel like, what if I can't make the turn in time? What if the light turns to yellow or turns to red? And this is where I tell students, look, the law says you legally enter the intersection on a green so you can legally exit at some point. It doesn't matter whether you're clearing it on a yellow or the red at that point. We try our best to clear the intersection in a timely manner, but if someone's running a yellow light, we don't cut in front of them. 
if someone is running a red light, we don't cut in front of them. We have to let those people still come through and making the turn. And then, as I've always mentioned in my videos, don't take things to the extreme. So yes, we don't want to cut in front of someone that's running a yellow light. But on the flip side, we don't always have to wait till they make a complete stop before we start making that turn. We have to look ahead and see, does it look like they're planning on stopping? Does it look like they're slowing down that they can reasonably stop there? If that's the case, we can start inching forward and making that turn in a timely manner. So I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in the next one.